so yeah so last two classes uh, we started with the introduction of uh, bio inspiration then we discussed about uh, what are the different uh, perspectives of bio inspiration uh, we can take up or we can look into so in that process uh, we came across uh, three different types of perspectives may you know what are those perspective anybody so what are the different perspectives we look using at... nature as model using nature as measure and using nature as mentor mentor so three different perspectives model measure and mentor so in that what uh, model says that means if you want to look at the model uh, uh, you if you want to look the nature as a model then uh, how you are going to look at it anybody some different people can speak yeah yes so nagasai saying that uh, you can speak nagasai okay already we are losing connect here because no visual uh, connection here so he is writing that uh, if the similar problem in natural system yes if the similar problem exists in the system if the similar system exists in the solution we are going to study that and understand then that we are going to implement in our domain so that is we are going to do in the second case nature as a measure what you are going to do anybody anybody nature as a measure going to take its quantity uh, speed measure impact or important we are going to use it for our inspiration so it's a kind of a comparison am i right yes sir yes sir. so it's a kind of a comparison and deciding the benchmark for a particular phenomena or a particular system or a particular event okay so it is all about comparing and comparing our phenomena or comparing our system or comparing our event with the naturally occurring event or naturally occurring phenomena or naturally occurring system then decide what is the benchmark nature achieved already and you are going to learn how you are uh, how it is achieved out like that okay so that is what uh, uh, we do in the nature as a measure then in the case of nature as a uh, mentor what is the philosophy we will look into so we use nature as a guide one one at a time okay Uh, we use nature as a way to guide us to the correct solution for the system uh, problem yes. we use nature as a guide that means it will show only the path that means uh, it will show some technique or technology or alternative where you learn that and create your own technologies create your own applications which are won't exist and they may not exist in nature also so you are going to create something very new that won't exist in both domains your domain as well as natural domain okay so that is what about uh, three different perspectives you should not forget that's why every time i repeat every class i repeat okay please use this repetition to remember things instead of reading 10 times uh, if you listen this and uh, remember it that is good so three different perspectives that is 3m model okay so model measure mentor that is you are going to look into and yesterday we also discussed one more point after you submitted your photographs can somebody elaborate while taking the photograph for bio inspiration what are the considerable points we need to look into anybody so first is to get the the full picture of the system like to get everything of the system inside yeah more elaborate more that you need to make sure that uh, 
it's uh, the whole idea of the system. Everything that works for the system needs to be portrayed in the image. In yes. a sense, yeah. I think uh, Ruben wrote something here. Hmm. Photography for information, not just for aesthetics. I agree with you, Matthew. So, so Ruben said that uh, it is information based not the aesthetics based that means what is the complete can you elaborate uh, ruben uh, so we must show all the different aspects of the system through the photograph exactly. so we have to be specific on what we are trying to show and then take the photo based on that exactly. so so what are the different aspects we may cover as a part of inspiration can you elaborate some more extent yes Sai Kirtana, take more picture until, sorry. Yeah, can you elaborate, ma? Until all information we want to show is captured. What is that information related to? Uh, That's what information I'm... about structure or the event happening at that time. Yeah. That we want to show it over. Event happening, next. Uh, or is the structure of the system. Hmm. Uh, any actions, if it is a living thing, uh, then the actions it is performing. Yes. Actions or let us assume functions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Process should be covered. Form, function, behavior, sir. Yes. Behavior also, if as an instance, somebody wrote uh, Nilesh. So as a behavior, if you could cover, that is also as an instance, you can cover. Okay. So you will look at the event. You will look at the structure. You will look at the form, but complete information you have to cover. That may be symmetric or asymmetric. Then uh, symmetric you should not show as asymmetric. Asymmetric you should not show as symmetric. Generally, we take selfies like that. So when you keep the camera very near, the symmetric face also becoming like asymmetric. Like a pumpkin, it, uh, it will appear. That's a bad photograph. Okay. So... That is symmetry, asymmetry, you must keep in mind all the time. So, form, then functions. If they are doing any process, if any process is going on, that also you can capture. And that information, if you could give through your photo, you are an excellent bio-inspiration photographer. You are suitable for National Geographic channel. Okay? So, that you should be able to cover. So, angle is important, position is important. So these things definitely plays the role. So definitely behavior also you can cover, not everything. Uh, you can cover any instances. If you could show this is behaving with respect to these, these conditions. That's it. Okay. So that is the photography you must remember for bio inspiration. Hope everybody remember that bio inspiration photography is not like a ordinary photography it is not like that randomly i will take pictures no it's a skill it's a skill that while taking a photograph you have a particular idea to capture something or you have a particular idea where to stay where to stand how to look which angle you need to take to cover a particular information so that's why i'm telling bio inspiration photography is a skill okay if you practice that, I'm very happy. Okay, that will be a extra skill for your subject, and will give a lot of uh, 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 what you say that uh, uh, satisfaction also. Okay, generally I take uh, here in our campus the snails keep uh, crossing the road, especially this season. Okay, so that I clearly observed. Taking is not that easy. Taking pictures, correct information we want to see. Those things really involve some skill. So I will suggest everyone to practice that. It's not a random photograph. Okay. Next. So especially in your photograph, somebody took the cat. I really liked it. Three pictures they took. I don't know who, who, who is that. Then three pictures they took. I really liked it. They wanted to cover something. So that is what I want you to do. So those things we covered. So today what we are doing is we would like to go into the further steps. Suppose if you have chosen a system, 
suppose if you have decided on the problem suppose if you know what to look at so you have some understanding about the problem so you have some understanding about what you are looking at okay then what are the different levels you can see the bio inspiration that may be of any perspective that may be of a mentor that may be of a measure that may be of a model any perspective you take at where, how many levels you can look at the nature as yesterday somebody asked you a question that sir internal structure or internal uh, maybe you call it as a anatomy or internal structure how we are going to look at it somebody asked yesterday so internal structures and internal uh, uh, these things i clearly said that we have to use some imaging techniques rather than the visual uh, visible light we have to use some other light to glance through okay so even glancing through is a big uh, area because see through the object so that is the reason why this levels it tells about that what are the different levels you can look and take inspiration and mimic it okay the first level is this is organism level then second behavioral level then third ecosystem level okay so if i say organism level then what you think you tell me if i say organism level then what you think so the form and function of that uh, organism cell hmm so no no now no, my question is it's a, it's a form it's true correct you may consider form or you may consider function of a specific organism or uh, uh, specific species but is it like a part or the whole system is my question clear is it no, like a, is it like a part or a complete system you are going to consider that is what you need to understand this is not like a complete system you are going to deal with a part or a single function or at the level of subsystem level in your language okay the subsystem level can you take any inspiration so that is what you are going to cover in organism level so organism level you generally look at the subsystems the functions different functions not all functions different functions which you need and if it is the form you take several uh, aspects of the form it is not completely that means it is a subsystem level engineering it is the subsystem level understanding it is not the whole system you are going to consider for inspiration but the subsystems in that system you are going to consider for uh, inspiration okay so in this i will ask you uh, a question because you already completed several design courses when you are considering the subsystems what you need to do mainly understand because we have to understand right unless we understand it you cannot apply anyway how you do the uh, engineering understand without understanding that you can't do so in order to understand that what is most important thing sir observing that subsystem observing the subsystem what are the different observation points you consider only you focus on subsystem or something else also you will observe it interacts also environment also interacts with the environment also ah environment of the system or subsystem like the environment of the subsystem ah environment of the subsystem means what 
it can be main system and also the environment of the main system so, no you are not coming to exact point you almost reached the point now you are observing one system in a whole system now you are saying that i am going to observe not only the subsystem but also the environment of the subsystem now you can only this contribute yes how yes. it is contributing to the whole system sir how it is contributing to the whole system very good next uh, so how is it in, how it is interacting with the uh, main uh, system sir like absolutely absolutely so how it is contributing to the main system is the point number 1 and how it is interacting with the other subsystems you must have learned these as conditions connections in generally design courses we use these words conditions and connections how these connections are there correlations with other subsystems so that is what you will understand it's not only subsystem i will just because the, the finest example is heart transplantation it's a greatest design of operation heart transplantation you should not say that i will only understand the heart okay so you have to understand how heart is actually behaving and how it is correlated to other surrounding systems am i right hope everyone agree with me yes sir so when you are actually looking at organism level you need to understand the subsystem you need to understand the correlation of the subsystem with other subsystems and as somebody said how it is contributing to the whole system so once you understand this correlations with other subsystems then you will also understand how it is contributing to the whole system okay that understanding actually make you to apply that knowledge in your domain please point to be noted it is not just observation of the subsystem understanding of the subsystem understanding of the subsystems connections with other subsystems understanding of the subsystem contribution to the main system okay so these are the three points you must remember while considering the subsystem while considering the subsystem so this is where actually generally electronics people only work in the microprocessor let us assume okay so how design is going to contribute to electronics people is this is the way because mostly they deal with the subsystems they won't deal with the complete system most of the electronic circuits most of the electronic components most of the electronic chips are going to be subsystems but when you are actually making those subsystems is there a real need to understand how this subsystem is going to contribute to the main system definitely you must understand so that is where this kind of inspirations that is where this kind of correlations will help you okay so this kind of correlations will help you that's what my point is you have to observe and understand the subsystem its correlations and connections with other subsystems its contribution to the main subsystem hope oh, everybody noted these points okay so that is the point you need to consider when you are dealing with the organism level of bio inspiration especially <clears throat> those people who are dealing with the subsystems those people who are dealing with the subsystems if you want to apply the bio inspiration this is the greatest thing okay so because you are dealing with the organism level so you have to look at the organism level in the biosphere also okay so suppose you are dealing with the complete system that's a different story if you want to use at organism level that is fine so those points you noted so what is the first thing you have to observe and understand the subsystem what is the second the second thing
contributing to the main subsystem yes contribution of subsystem to the main system next third point interacting with other subsystems yes in uh, how this subsystem is interacting with other subsystems those three points if you understand that means you have a perfect picture of organism level understanding then you can apply it okay so that is the way of doing bio inspiration at organism level that means mostly subsystem level so in our engineering part i told you the example where we do the electronic circuits or simple uh, hydraulic uh, things which are mostly subsystems they won't uh, contribute uh, they they won't make the complete system they are subsystems so that is most important okay so this will come in every area if a computer science person has asked me i will tell it as a subroutine unless you 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 don't understand the subroutine that won't come in a right time and uh, won't execute uh, its own function right so that is what the subsystem means that is what you need to understand to get the inspiration at organism level hope it is clear any questions in that sir uh, sir how uh, a subsystem like we can understand that how it reacts with other subsystem like how can we understand that ah, that 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 needs uh, to do some research on that okay sir. because you have to read about that you have to understand the anatomy you have to understand what is happening when other system other subsystem fails what is happening to this you have to read and understand yes sir okay, okay? so that that needs a lot of uh, Uh, gathering the data gathering the information then understand okay that is all needed in every aspect okay thank you okay hmm. <clears throat> next any other questions so that is what you need in the subsystem or uh, sorry organism level of bio inspiration next thing is behavior level sir uh, yes sir so, like So is it like isn't it hard to like just uh, just study us uh, as only a subsystem because sir when we are considering a subsystem we will also consider the environment that it is working on and how it is interacting with the environment sir so where do we start from sir like we have to that, that, uh, that's what I said uh, when you are uh, talking at uh, the levels of bio mimicry or levels of inspiration you must have understood your problem. <clears throat> okay so if you already have one problem in hand you need to solve okay that will drive you to look at where to look and which to look okay that's what what is what was my first point you must have understood your problem before deciding the level we you randomly should not go and uh, ah now i will uh, work in the organism level you can't tell that okay perspective you can change we don't mind but if you want to work at different levels of inspiration you must have understood your own problem then that will drive you where to look okay now people are saying cyber physical systems in cyber physical system you can't say whole system is uh, going to think on its own you have to put lot of electronics in that you have to put lot of uh, programming in that you have to make algorithms for that then you have to test it in such a ecosystem or a environment where uh, you have to observe how it is going to work because you yourself is uh, telling that it is a cyber physical system okay so that's the reason why when you understand your problem thoroughly that will lead you to look at or that will lead you to uh, where to start that will tell where to start you got my point yes sir yeah so that is what uh, the first part the second part is behavioral level so behavioral level means what you think because there i have shown one uh, uh think what what we call that ant hill right uh, so i have shown the ant hill there 
but i said behavioral level what does it mean sir how these subsystems are you know working uh, together sir ಕಾಲನಿ Yes, so here the system means ant colony not the ant hill so this ant hill uh, this one i am showing because this biggest structure or this biggest system or this biggest uh, monument kind of thing is built by a collective system where each individual will play its role am i right now how they know that to build this much where to keep what okay so that is the reason why this is the behavioral problem that means at every subsystem level that subsystem know how to behave subsystem knowing how to behave means you need to observe the subsystem but not with respect to its functions but with respect to how it is executing its functions <coughs> with time hope i'm clear you are not going to observe simply functions you are going to observe how these functions are executed with respect to time okay first it will execute the function 2 then it will execute function 4 it will execute function 1 then it will execute function 5 so this order you have to observe why it is executing these functions in certain this pattern then that is called behavior okay once you observe that pattern of function execution functional execution that you call as a behavior okay so that means each subsystem does know how to behave that means you have to tune the behavior of each subsystem you have to tune the behavior of each subsystem generally this kind of work we will do in the cyber physical system if you say i want to only write the code uh, don't mind these all things not needed but somebody building cyber physical system because the future is of cyber physical systems when you talk about the cyber physical system when you want to apply the bio inspiration it is must that you are going to observe the subsystem behavior that means how it is executing functions with respect to time okay so that is what you are going to do so that is what uh, uh, mean by behavioral level so you are if you are observing the collective systems you are going to observe the subsystems where subsystems behave in their own way you are going to observe and understand their behavior what is mean by behavior here how they are executing the functions with respect to time which function is coming first which function is coming next so that pattern of functional execution you will understand which you call as behavior the pattern of functional execution will tell about the behavior if you understand that behavior your coding your electronic circuit your form everything change everything will change so that is what you need to take from the nature that you have to observe the behaviors then code and make circuits accordingly okay so that will anyway make the complete system and sometimes this overall behavior also most important not only subsystem level 
So now we thought about the subsystem level. Because of the subsystem behavior, each ant behavior, as a collective system, these ant colony can build this kind of ant hill. Am I right? So that is the reason why if the collective system want to build the ant colony, uh, this ant colony want to build the ant hill, each subsystem should behave in a certain way. This each subsystem's behavior will emerge as the behavior of the uh, collective system. Okay, so that is what behavioral level means. So tell me what is mean by behavior you need to observe in the nature? Because simply by the behavior, that won't make any sense. How we have to define the behavior? How functions are executed with respect to time, sir? With respect to time. Okay. How functions are executed with respect to time. Okay. So that is what you need to observe as a behavior. You can observe at the subsystem level. You can observe at the system level. No problem. Only thing is how functions are executed with respect to time is called behavior. You can observe at subsystem level or you can observe at system level also. We don't mind. Once you understand that, that will give the insight towards how you need to code. What is your algorithmic structure should be? How your subroutines or the substructures should behave or should what what are they what are the different functions you have to execute one after other because the execution depends on your code or your algorithm so your algorithm structure you can decide on point number one second you have to execute this through some electronics okay in order to <clears throat> suit this behavior or in order to suit this functional pattern, what kind of electronic processor or circuits you need to use because it involved time. It involved time. Okay. So that you can decide. So based on that anyway, overall behavior will of the system will emerge okay so that is the way you have to take the inspiration you consider the ant colony you consider the swam of bees you consider the tree how it is behaving from uh, morning to evening you consider the lion how it is changing its functionalities with respect to environment you consider any other species, okay? So only one thing you need to consider is how it is changing its functions with respect to time and with respect to environment. That you know. With respect to environment, anyway, you will say. But uh, with respect to time, how it, the functions are changing is called behavior. Once you observe that, you know how to algor create an algorithm for that kind of functional pattern so that will give the algorithm in order to execute this algorithm what is the suitable circuit also you can decide okay that will anyway uh, give the overall behavior of the system that means this is the first organism level inspiration behavioral level inspiration mostly talking about cyber physical systems it's all about cyber physical systems. Point to be noted. Okay. So even though you can use or uh, making some softwares, making uh, because ant colony optimization software algorithm is because of ant this observation. Okay. You can make softwares, but if you want to really make that advanced cyber physical systems, which they are also calling as cybernetics. Okay. These advanced cyber physical systems needs a lot of observation at subsystem level and system level behaviors. So that is what the second level 
that is behavioral level so please try to understand and try to remember the behavioral level understanding means you have to understand how functions are changing with respect to time why i am taking time because with respect to time the environment may be changing okay so how functions are changing with respect to time and environment you have to observe that is called behavior now the second question is whether you are going to observe in a system level or subsystem level both somewhere you have to observe at some system uh, subsystem levels and system level somewhere you have to observe only at the system level but behavior means the definition is same you have to observe functions with respect to time that okay so that is the behavioral level inspiration if you want to take third is the ecosystem level what do you think ecosystem means anybody the actual problem <clears throat> yeah no no i didn't get that loudly please the actual problem the actual problem no because the ecosystem is hard so they have to build something like pool so that they can do so that is what you got a huh? Sir, it's interaction. Interaction. No, no. Interaction let between. Me, let me let me clarify this uh, M M F T twenty five. You are saying that the actual environment where we are going to use this system is is does that mean what you said? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, next. Yeah, up to some extent, it's fine. Hmm. Sir, it, it's interaction between uh, the system, sir. it is interaction between between the systems are ah it is interaction between systems yes sir. may not be the same kind of systems it is a interaction between this uh, the system of interest and it with the environment can i say that like that yes sir yes sir. yeah so ecosystem level means mostly we deal with the system that system how first of all we understand its environment definitely when i say environment it is not only the systems uh, surrounding uh, temperature pressure these things no it is not only climatic condition it also include other systems when it include other systems you want to understand how it is interacting with the other system how it is correlated with the other system okay so that is how it is adjusting to the other system also important okay so this in, in nature you find this uh, that the that coherence of that understanding coherence of understand otherwise cat won't kill rat dog won't kill cat Uh, suppose some fox or something will come don't uh, kill dog tiger won't kill fox wolf won't kill fox tiger won't kill the wolf so like this there is a pattern emerging so one dependency on other one correlating to other three depending on morning time on sun morning time on oxygen night time tree will die yeah night time what happens hey three night time what happens really this the three takes an oxygen right yeah simply like us only right yeah it takes starts respiring like us yeah so in respiration it is taking oxygen and giving carbon dioxide like us only of course we are useless so we are doing that thing all the time okay but morning time what it is doing when the sun is present immediately it is switching its behavior functions are changed process is changed immediately it is starting using that so he the tree is connected with the sun 
so sun is a part of its environment tree is also connected with the moon so moon is a part of environment because they say that most of the medicinal plants are active in the night especially in the indian uh, ayurvedic context if you see they say that the medicinal values growing because of the moon not because of the sun of course scientifically also something is proved now okay so this is what that means moon is a part of environment so if you are looking at some plant and understanding it you should not only understand the plant immediately i will plug the plant i will cut it into pieces understand all parts then i will throw it no you have to keep like that then you have to understand how it is correlated to moon how it is correlated to sun how sun is impacting it how moon is impacting it how oxygen is impacting it how carbon dioxide is impacting it how it is responding to that its a response is a behavior am i right so this is called ecosystem that means you are going to study the systems correlation with other systems in the environment point to be noted so ecosystem level means what you are going to look at inspirations where you are going to look at systems correlations with other systems in the environment okay example is trees correlation with the oxygen trees correlation with the earth trees correlation with the sun trees correlation with the moon trees correlation with the wind trees correlation with the human touch these all if you understand very 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 significant as well as surprising things will come into picture how many people will agree that plant will respond to your touch yes sir will you agree or think that it's a stupidity no no i agree sir yes scientifically proved that plants are responding to your touch that's why if you see in indian tradition if you beat the plant also our elders will uh, uh, were scolding actually because they know that consciousness okay now because of the <clears throat> revolution in photonics and the revolution in uh, uh, understanding of these biological species you now we are scientifically understanding that there is a response there is a response so won't you understand that response do you think that it will respond to human it will respond to dog it will respond to moon it will respond to sun in a same way no it's not like that okay so that is what ecosystem means so please note down ecosystem level is understanding nothing but understanding the systems correlations or understanding the systems connections with other systems in the environment okay so let me repeat ecosystem level understanding in the nature means understanding the systems correlations understanding the systems connections with other systems in the environment so that is what you mean by ecosystem understanding so that will tell you where some system can survive where some cannot survive chandrayaan 2 what was the problem this already we discussed in uh, uh, intelligent systems temperature drop chandrayaan 2 what was the problem temperature drop yeah no the it is adaptability am i right that means somewhere i am not blaming anyone somewhere our understanding of the context may be missing this is nothing but how this system your so called satellite vikram something is there na how it is connected to the moon how it is connected to the environment of the moon how it is connected to the temperature at the moon so these all things we should understand that right? that is what ecosystem level understand in nature if you see them what is the use especially mba people as well as business people make use of this like 
anything and second part will come to this uh, our uh, uh, cyber physical systems as well as uh, the especially who are working in cyber physical systems which are especially in the side of robotics collective systems have you heard about swam drones or uh, these things yes sir since india also made these things so last time they must demonstrate so this understanding in nature will help us to make them. okay so this also will contribute in cyber physical systems as well as the uh, collective systems if we are working in that direction so nature will give lot of insights nature will give lot of ideas that point to be noted hope you understood the different levels of uh, uh, observations sorry can you please speak Sir, yes, sir. Uh, you are saying about the swarm of drones. They collectively have a mindset like bees. Yes, yes. No, that is anyway behavioral level. Am I right? Yes, sir. That is behavioral level. But ecosystem level means how this collective system is behaving in different environments. How it is interacting with main station. How it is interacting with the heavy winds. how it is interacting with the hilly area low temperatures so these all come under ecosystem level because if you observe uh, this bee swarms if you see this swarms actually when the temperature fluctuations are heavy that areas they never go and when the earthquake is coming this is swarm behavior is like A, a complete uh, rap uh, what you said anomalous behavior they will show okay so that is ecosystem level okay so that is what the understanding of organism level behavior level and ecosystem level please remember that because those are very important in order to apply even in your project somebody doing final year project so that is very important to apply the bio inspiration in your project Okay, so that is what about today's class. Uh, Jay Prada, have you taken the attendance? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So if attendance is over, I'm available for five minutes. You can ask any questions. I'll suggest you to please note down the points. Okay, everything will not be available in the PPT. So those points you have to note down. So, so in simple terms, we can say that eco uh, ecosystem level of design is a culmination of the behavioral level and organized organism level and the interactions. Can no, we no. say that? No, no. Ecosystem level, we don't go that deeper. That's why in ecosystem level, we don't go at the subsystem level. System can be anything. I don't mind, but how this system is interacting with the other systems. Hmm, okay so okay but organism level i'm not at all thinking about the system organism level i'm not at all thinking about the system i'm thinking only about subsystem so how subsystem is interacting with other subsystem that is organism level. behavior level what i'm doing i'm looking at the function and how these functions are changing with respect to time of a system or subsystem i don't mind so behavioral level i i i can see subsystem or system i don't mind but when you come to ecosystem level i am only considering the system whole system the swam means complete swam i am not considering the individual bee you, you are getting my point uh, yes sir yeah so i am considering the whole swam how it is responding to temperature fluctuations temperature pressure how it is responding to heavy forest will it form the same forms when heavy oxygen content is there the form of the swam may change with respect to oxygen also if lot of vibration coming from the earth will this uh, swam forms will be same no okay so that is what i am telling that means how it is connected to the earth 
how it is connected to the sun how it is connected to the wind pressure how it is connected to temperature how it is connected to oxygen content that means here i am considering whole swam the collective system as a single system i am not at all thinking about subsystem you got my point okay sir yeah got it sir hello sir yes yes sir while coming to the ecosystem level sir interaction means that how it is contributing also we can say how it is contributing to the other systems yes 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 definitely that that we covered right yes sir but in ecosystem level like you didn't tell that contribution no 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 no, no. ecosystem level that contribution won't come into picture because we don't mind how it is contributing contributing to what contributing to other systems sir in an ecosystem no no contributing to other systems is nothing but a connection how it is connected to other system am i right no sir like in case of the plant the uh, plant is giving is oxygen no, sir like it is contributing like ah contributing to whom sir like living being sir no no in that case living being is a separate system suppose if you ask me how yes, plant that's what i'm saying no, sir that like yeah. how plant is connected to this uh, living being okay yes, living being is one complete system am i right he has many yes, subsystems yes sir plant is a sub, uh, another system am i right yes sir ah uh, one is depending on other am i right yes sir ah uh, that is what i said as correlation okay ah uh, but in observation subsystem level you have to do that practice subsystem level we don't understand the same thing as this one that's why i didn't mention it as a contribution it is only connection okay it is like interdependency okay thank you because humans also can say that because we are exhaling the carbon dioxide trees are living you can also tell like that. okay sir okay yes excuse me sir yes yes sir if possible uh, can can we can, can we attend the class through calendar links uh, in that way the recordings will be saved in the calendar itself no this is in a, it's already we are saving right every time uh, yes sir but this uh, recording will be saved to the person's drive who joins first in this link no no that has a random process it's okay otherwise we have to Uh, no, no. In Google Classroom, I can manage everything at uh, one place. Okay, because okay, I so created calendar invites already. But because you are the part of the Google Classroom, uh, I think you will get the notification also, right? 